The Real Life Student Orientation Area, which is located next to the Campus Sandbox, was really designed to give educators a place to bring their students to practice their second life skills. So once your students arrive, if they click the welcome sign, what will come up is an instructional card. It outlines all the various tasks that are associated with each of the stations pretty clearly. Your students can work individually, they can work in pairs. It really doesn't matter what order they complete the station. It's really about getting them comfortable within the three-dimensional environment. So an example station is the pond where your students will get a chance to practice their camera controls. And then from there, they can wander over to the tic-tac-toe game. By simply pressing the reset button, they can start a game, they can play by themselves, they can enlist a challenge to their classmate. Again, it gets them kind of used to clicking on different things. I'm often asked where else you can check out places in Second Life. So this particular station provides a note card with teleport links to different thematic regions or sims within Second Life. So I chose Elven Glen, where some of the elves live, um, a sim that represents Egypt and Greece and Japan, and one of my favorite places, which is Sparga, which is a lush eco forest. Fantastic if you've never been there. The totem station is really about moving items. So they can use the blocks, build their own totem. They can also practice flying up and down and landing and moving around the totems. And then also for sort of more advanced skills, where the drums are, your students can play the drums. They can also check out the campfire to see what it's like to script for particles. Then by clicking on the clay pots, a note card will come up that will list various places within Second Life where they can continue the practice. So other sandboxes, if they're more advanced, they can go over to the Ivory Tower of Prims, so, which is a building tutorial if you're not familiar. They can learn how to create particles from the particle laboratory. And then they can get a list of the classes that are offered in world. Some of them are really quite good given by the residents. The final station really teaches them how to shop. And Yadu's junkyard was really around Second Life from the very beginning. Most of the items are very inexpensive. Some, some of them are free. They can learn how to use their linen dollars. They can learn how to teleport each other around. And so it gives them, again, some of those basic skills. Now, there is no building allowed in the orientation area. It's simply practice stations. So that's one reason it's next to the campus sandbox. This is where you would build. I actually, this is a rebuild because the first orientation area we had to scrap because too many people were leaving a lot of their objects within the station. So, voila, there you have it. A revised real life 